Bengaluru, the Silicon Valley of India, is underwater again. Less than two months after the city witnessed the heaviest rainfall in many decades, the shoddy infrastructure of Baswaraj Bumai government is exposed once again. Due to the heavy downpour, this particular retainer wall built by the BMRCL, which is the Bengaluru Metro, has come crashing down due to the incessant rains. And the impact of that has been at least about six cars have been completely damaged. And also one particular two-wheeler has also been damaged due to the cause of this particular incessant rains. Water logging, broken roads, sewage overflowing. Sultan Pit witnesses all of these each time it rains. And mind you, Sultan Pit and its adjoining areas like Chick Pit, BBK, Iyengar Road are the highest revenue generators. Over 100 crore rupees is paid as income tax and around 30 to 40 crore rupee every month as GST. Kantilal Jain, who is a paper distributor, says his shop has been bearing the brunt of flooding for over 30 years. We are paying, I, I assume it's going to be 30 to 40 crores a month of GST is collected from this area. More than 100 crores would be the IT part of it. So, uh, based on that, we lose the business and the losses to the revenue as well. Every time there is a spell of rain, it is not just the IT corridor that floods, but there are certain number of areas, for example, Chikpet, Sultanpet, Balepet. Now these are certain revenue, highest revenue generating areas that experiences heavy flooding because of uh, the BBMP failing to do their jobs and also not able to give them basic amenities. These areas, the revenue generating areas experiences great loss, great loss in terms of where they go on to pay over 100 crore rupees in income tax and over 30 to 40 crore rupees in GST every month. In Bengaluru, with Kumar Srija for NDTV.